Okay, we are ready to start our tutorial on making our daisy blocks. That's going to be your assignment this week. We're gonna make three of those. So if you're following along in your pattern, we are on steps 17 through 19. And we're gonna begin with um, some yellow rectangles and some yellow squares, and we're gonna do folded corners on those to make our petals. So I've got my rectangle laid out, and then you're gonna have some background squares that are one and a half inches. You're going to lay those right sides together with that rectangle, and you're gonna sew from corner to corner and do the, all the folded corners on those rectangles. Now, if you need a little refresher on doing folded corners, you can go to uh, week two of this sew along, and I go through some detailed instructions on how those folded corners are made. I'm assuming at this point you're good and you won't need that, so we're not gonna go through all of that, but you can see here I've sewn from corner to corner on those squares. And then you're gonna to wanna to trim the excess off, and then you're gonna to wanna to press. And you wanna press this corner towards the yellow and this corner towards the navy. And the reason I have you pressing in opposite directions is when you go to sew two of them together, do you see how from the back this intersection, that seam, is, or sorry, this seam is going down and this seam is going up. So those two will nest when you do that intersection. So you won't have to do any pinning or anything. You'll be able to just lock those seams together with your nesting process and you'll get nice perfect points in there. So um, that's why I have you pressing it that way. And if you're alarmed by the fact that after you sew this, it looks like you have a pointy petal. Um, let me grab one of my little, let's just grab this. Once you lay something with a quarter inch seam on top of that petal, do you see how now it's rounded? It's gonna look pointy like this until you sew your next seam to it. And that's when all the rounding of those petals will happen. So don't be alarmed if you have pointy petals at this step, you are doing it correctly. And by the way, these two squares should not overlap, but be right next to each other on that square or that rectangle. Okay, then let's go on to doing the folded corners on our squares. So now these are one and a quarter. We just got done doing a one and a half inch folded corner on here. So don't get those sizes mixed up. We want these to be a little smaller and you're gonna do folded corners on three sides like so. And then when you're done with that, you have some little border pieces. You're gonna sew the shorter one first and then the longer one. And then you're gonna get a piece that looks like this. So you'll be making four of these for each block and you'll be making eight of the bigger petals here for each block. Then before we can start sewing those together, we also have our center square, and you have some two inch squares that are the same matching print as what we just were working with. And you can use that folded corner technique again to sew those to the center square. Then we can start sewing our pieces together. So you'll begin by sewing that, this line here, and I did press that open. You don't have to, but I thought it laid nice and flat if I did. And so I press those open. You're gonna sew those together in a row like this and you will make one of these. Then you're going to sew these together in a row and you will make two of those. Now, as far as pressing goes, I just made sure that I pressed my seams in the opposite direction. So whether you wanna go in or out, I mean, there are pressing arrows in the pattern, but um, we're just trying to nest this line with this line. So um, I found it easiest to press in on this one and out on that one, just because this size ha this side here has two seams and this side only has one. Okay, so we are at this point here where we have these rows sewn together. Then you can, or these rows sewn, now you can go to sewing them together and sew those two long seams right there. And this block should measure 12 and a half inches. Now there are a lot of seams in this block, so hopefully that comes out accurate for you. Um, if it doesn't, you know, you can always double check your pressing, um, cutting, your sizes, different things like that. I will say that when I do my cutting, I cut just slightly generous. And so I've been hearing from a few people lately that have heard that, tech, that tip that I've shared and they said that was so helpful um, that they always had trouble with their blocks turning out too small until they changed their cutting. So I'm just gonna hop up quick and grab my ruler and show you what I mean. Okay, so here I have my Omni Grid ruler 
Um, this is one of my favorites. And what I mean by that is, you know, when you have like, there's a little black line here and then there's a yellow line going around it. I will cut on the outside edge of the yellow line. It's not hanging way past, but even just the thickness of that line, which is a thread or two, it allows for the turn of the fabric when you're sewing together your pieces. And then you have less problems with shrinking, I feel like. Some people prefer to do a scant quarter inch seam and that works as well. But I find it's a little harder to eyeball um, a scant quarter inch seam with the machine that I have because the foot is not a scant quarter. And I like to follow right along the edge of the foot. And so by using that, that line on the ruler, it helps me get um, a little bit extra so that I don't have to worry about losing that in the seam. So like I said, this should measure 12 and a half inches. And one other thing that I wanted to share for you to consider, you know, we're making three blocks like this. So if you didn't want all of your fabrics to be the same within each block, you could make them scrappy. This is a block from one of my upcoming patterns called Dinia Seeds. And do you see how these are scrappy? They're all different colors. So because we are using three yellows to make this block, we could make each of these three petals a different color and have a scrappy flower like this. And it would have kind of a similar effect. So I just wanted to share that for you to consider that it would be, I think, really cute to have um, scrappy petals. So just to kind of show you, we actually have enough pieces we can lay some of them out. Let's just say, for example, we had it like this. Do you see how cute that would be with scrappy petals like that? And you could do your folded corners here, scrappy. And I think it would make for some really cute daisies. So just something for you to consider as you are making those blocks. Okay, so that is it for this week. Um, next week, we are gonna sew some more of our large sections together, and then the next week is the last week of our sew along. So um, thanks again for joining me today. If you wanna share any of your progress on social media, just make sure to use the hashtag Rose Garden Sew Along. See you next week. I went back and watched the video where I talk about my cutting tip and I didn't feel like it showed very well. So I'm gonna hold the camera by hand so I can zoom way in. And here you can see a better look at this ruler. So do you see how there's a yellow line that wraps this black line? And that's on my OmniGrid ruler. So when I'm cutting, let's see if I can get the camera just right. Let's just say we're looking at this point here. If you line up the edge of the fabric with the black line, it's gonna cut your size a little bit scant. If you slide this over, so the edge of the fabric is all the way to the outside edge of that yellow line that wraps the black little line, you actually get your fabric a thread or two larger. So that is what I mean by um, cutting just slightly generous or cutting on the outside edge of the line. And this was the technique that I was taught 30 years ago by the person who taught me to quilt. And I have been using it ever since and I do find it helps if your blocks consistently turn out just a little bit small. So I hope that helps.